and welcome back to my channel. You recently saw my 2018 migration process, so basically migrating from my fifth bullet journal into the one I'm going to use at the start of 2018, which is my sixth bullet journal. And today I'm going to show you my January plan with me. So as always, first up, I'm going to show you December so far. Um, you guys will notice that it is currently, what's today's date? It is the 6th, 17th, 16th? Oh my goodness, we're gonna look. So let's see, what's today? Um, December, it's Saturday. So today is December 16th, so you'll see I still have two weeks left in December. However, I am going to be traveling at the end of next week, so I need to get everything set up and ready to go before I leave. So without further ado, let's take a peek at December so far. All right, you guys will remember my little intro page with the shimmery watercolors that totally does not really show up on camera. Oops. Um, but in person, it looks really nice. Let's see. So in terms of setup, I'm honestly going to keep pretty much everything the same. There's going to be one major change in January, which is that I'm going to do memories, but I am not going to do gratitude because I'm going to start doing some lines a day and I don't want to overwhelm myself with too many things that I need to write like every single day. So at least for January, I'm going to do some lines a day and then I'll decide come February if I want to reintroduce gratitude because it is truly something that I like to do. Um, but I also know that January is going to be a very busy month and I don't wanna overwhelm myself. So that's gonna be my biggest change. Otherwise, um, pretty much everything is gonna stay the same. I might tweak my the things I track a tiny bit, but otherwise not too bad. So this is just a spread that I have for my trip and I totally forgot about um, my flight information so I'm just gonna cover that up. But basically I have my flights, the train information, I have the outfit I wanna wear on the plane, things I need to do before I leave, technology, paper, important things I wanna bring, and then all of my clothes. Then weeklies as usual. So pretty standard, a little bit messy. I have this quick little next step for my K-drama spread because I have notes of dramas I want to watch like all over the place. I was trying to collect them in one spot. I have my Talk to Me in Korean spread. Um, actually, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because I will have a video on that. I have this week, um, so we are currently on the 16th, this week, so you'll see a lot of open tasks because I haven't migrated yet. Um, I'm still debating if I want to do something here, just leave it blank, like write a little quote or something, but honestly, it is what it is. Um, this I will go over in the my uh, Korean study video, etc. That is this week, and I'm actually because I have so many big things to do, I'm going to try and fit Sunday in here and just have all three days on one page, so I don't have to do as much migrating. And so I went ahead and I set up next week. Um, I changed this side over here because I want to have my top five things that I need to focus on before I leave because I'm leaving on Saturday. So I basically will have a full um, five days to get stuff done, but I also have work. And then I am leaving bright and early Saturday morning. So Saturday and Sunday are basically, Saturday's a travel day, Sunday I'll be in the US, so it'll be family time. So I wanted to have pick the things that I absolutely needed to get done. So I'm gonna have five things here. I just haven't filled it in yet. I am gonna have some work, so I need to have things that, you know, whatever I need to prep. So I have a little space for that. And then this is going to be trip prep stuff that comes up like as I think of it, and then followed by just normal tasks. Um, and the tasks are gonna be things that I want to get done, but maybe aren't as high of priority. And so they might be something that I can do when I'm in the US or what have you. We'll see how this works. I gave myself a couple of pages here. So I basically kind of counted it out where I have my week, an extra spread in case I have collections, and then I kind of did, I'm planning on doing a one page weekly for the last week of the year because I'll be traveling and then I'll have a couple of extra pages. Um, and I gave myself a few extra just in case I wanted to do something like journaling or what have you. Also, I have the space to do it. And I actually have this set up. So what I'm gonna do is, um, actually, Okay, so this is kind of like a, a crazy mismatch because I am going to be traveling like into the new year. So basically, let me show you guys my January setup. So my January, oh my gosh, not even the right notebook. So you guys can tell I'm getting super frazzled. Um, you know that's life, but we'll, we're, gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. So basically, let's find it here. You guys already saw 
my review planner squad and then my personal bujo setup which is what i did when i set up this guy on camera so now we're up to january so i went ahead and i planned out what i want to have in january so quote and my january intro page monthly with all of my major like task sections memories and then instead of gratitude i'm going to do my your best year 2018 january goals which i actually have to finish that um so things i'm going to pull out that i specifically want to work on in january reading goals and then tracker and financial goals so that's what i'm going to actually be setting what i'm actually going to set up in here however because i'm going to be traveling I also am going to set up a mini January in my fifth bullet journal because the fifth bullet journal is the one that's going to come with me on my trip. So what I decided to do is I'm going to have a quick little intro page because I just didn't need to have a ton of stuff to set up or I, I didn't need to set up a ton of stuff. So I'm going to have a quick little intro page and then I'm basically going to do, I decided I would do the first two weeks so that I could have sort of a, a look at what's upcoming because I have a lot of exams and stuff that are going to be due that first week that I'm back. And because I'm going to do my lines a day, but because I don't want to bring my lines a day book, it's like, it's kind of big and heavy. Um, I'm actually going to leave a space for myself to write in the first three days of January because I'm basically flying back. I leave the US on the second and I'll be back in France on the third. So I want to give myself a little bit of a buffer. So I have those first three days. I'm also going to have a tracker and I'm gonna do it for the first week just so it's not like a super tiny thing. And I'm also going to have reading. And then after that, I'm going to have a one page weekly setup, which I'm not going to set up on camera, but I'll have a one page weekly and dailies for those first couple of days that I'm going to be um, still in the US and still in this bullet journal, even though it's gonna be January. Um, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. I've had a couple of comments asking me to shorten the review process and all that kind of stuff, so I'm trying really hard to keep it a little bit shorter this time. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and time lapse you guys. I'll come back and show you everything at the end as usual and I'll try and explain it a little bit more. I think it's gonna be easier to see once it's actually all on paper. Um, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna set up my mini January in here first and then I'm gonna show you guys the full setup in here. So you're actually gonna get two mini plan or a mini and a full plan with me in this particular video. So I will see you guys at the end.
So here is my mini January setup. Um, I thought I would go ahead and show you guys this one first because I did it first and also it's the shortest. So I set up this right page and decided to write January 2018 next to my mini monthly because I had the space. And so I realized that it was kind of weird to write January again. So I was like, oh, well, duh, happy new year. So happy new year over here. Um, like I said, I have the two weeks so that I can fill in. I'll still be in the US for this section, but I wanna be able to kind of see what's coming up when I get back because I know I'm going to be busy. I have my three for the first three days of January, which actually I meant to write in the numbers and I did not do that. So there we go. So the first three days in January so that when I get back, I can just go ahead and transfer those into my lines a day. And if you haven't seen the inside of this, um, so I actually just wrote my name here. I'm going to write in the years later, but basically every day for well every day has a page and you have five boxes on here for five can five years in a row so ideally it would be five consecutive years but if you skipped a year or whatever you could just use it for any five years so i basically just did a similar box obviously i have a lot more room on here but i'm hoping that i can at least jot down some notes and then when i transfer it i'll have more room to write um, if i want to and also it's only for three days like not a big deal so basically what I have is I have a box for the first day, for the second, and for the third. Um, and that is just so that I don't have to bring this particular journal with me because it is rather heavy. So that section, and then I have my little tracker. So I just did the first week. And you'll see that I actually had laundry down here, but I won't really be in um, France for part of that so I decided to change that to Korean so that I do you know at least one little thing in Korean every single day and I have reading so if I ended up if I end up reading any books um, rather than just trying to shove them on the end of December I have a little section here for January and um, like I said you know I have extra pages in here we're gonna see how it works but I'm gonna try and use up as many pages as I can um, you know until the end of the year so that I can just completely move into my new bullet journal once I get back to France. So now we have my new bullet journal. So inside my copper, my full January setup. Um, so I found this really cool quote by T.S. Eliot that is for last year's words belong to last year's language and next year's words await another voice. I thought that was just a really nice thing, especially given that I really like languages and that I'm an English teacher, like it just kind of made sense. Um, so I broke it up. Um, I ended up having like nine lines, which is why a lot of it is, you know, fairly small. And I decided that um, I wanted to practice my normal cursive. So, and you guys will notice that my colors for this month are going to be black and copper. Um, so I just went ahead and did black and copper for my writing. And I think it came out pretty nicely. Um, I like the kind of low key look. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm not planning to add anything else to this. So then I just have January 2018 followed by, and you guys, I'm like so out of it. This is insane. Like literally I left my fairy lights on all night last night and I came out this morning. I was like, oh my God, they're still on. Oops, like just completely losing my mind. But anyway, I forgot to do the, the date on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and like time lapse you guys super, super quick so that I actually have the dates on here and then I'll come back. Okay, so I also forgot to do the weeks. So I just went ahead and filled in my dates and then weeks one through five, obviously, um, you know, beginning of the year and all that. So this stayed basically the same. I still have happy mail, um, February, so the upcoming month tasks and emails. And I just did some normal cursive on there because I wanted it to be nice and simple. Next up, I have memories. So this is going to be basically the same as always, lettering, what have you. Um, this is going to be something that I can't set up until I finish my Your Best Year 2018 and until I do a review of my 101 and 1001 goals to see what I wanna focus on for January. So basically what I have in the beginning here, uh, let's see where have I got it. So I'm going to pull out certain of the goals from this particular challenge to focus on for the next five months. And then I want to pull a couple of them to focus on in January. And then if I have any specific goals that come up as I'm doing the Your Best Year 2018, I wanna be able to put those on here as well. So this is gonna stay blank, but I wanted to make sure I had a spot to put them and that it was up at the front of my notebook because I look at this pretty regularly. Next reading, uh, same as always, um, it's 
So the way it's going to work is I'm planning on do uh, I'm planning to read 80 books this year, which um, what I actually need to do is go through and divide out 80 by by 12 months and I'm not even gonna pretend like I can do that in my head um, so I will that will be whatever that number is that's gonna be my goal for the month so it's probably going to be in the realm of like five or six books I'm guessing probably a little bit more because if it's if I have 60 books then it's like five so let's call it between like seven and eight books so I will do the math on that but that's going to be my goal this year whereas last year because my goal was to do 52 books in 52 weeks I knew that I just had one book per week um, so this year it's going to be a little bit higher and then I've got my tracker um, basically the same as usual I ended up taking off the ASL water um, the watercolor project I still haven't finished it I still want to finish it um, but realistically I just like I don't know I just can't think about it right now however I do have space here in case I want to add it later so if it turns out in January after my exams I have a little bit more time I can add it back in here but I did add um, instead of having the watercolor I do have Korean on here because I'd like to try and see how consistently I am studying Korean um, so basically if I just study if I do a lesson or if I do a little bit of practice or whatever I'll just do a dot so that I can see like did I do something to help me learn Korean today or not. And so that'll give me kind of an idea. Um, money goals, as always, I will fill this out after, probably after I get back from the US because then it'll be the new year um, and I'll have seen exactly how December went. But yeah, so that, and I like to keep track, this will also be filled in at the end of January, how much money I actually was able to save that month. Um, had a little quote, cause I have a lot of extra space here and you'll see like, near the end I've only had coffee today so it's making my hands shake so my uh my teas were crossed a little funky there but hey it is what it is um and yeah so that is just going to be my January setup I tried really hard to keep it fairly low key I don't have too too many things that I'm doing every single day um honestly like tracking I do every single day I usually do it in the morning but things like reading goals January goals and memories I only do when they come up so this is actually a pretty like I'm hoping this is going to be a manageable amount of things for me to track and do every day um honestly the thing that's going to take more time than I'm used to is the some lines a day and because I want to do that this year, I want to make sure that I didn't have too many other things um, taking up my time so that I could focus on doing that. So that is why January setup is pretty, pretty simple, pretty quick this time around. And basically, I will end up doing my next weekly on here, but I'm going to wait and see because you never know, I might end up just like changing my setup or who knows, that's a couple weeks in the future, but at least I have this journal set up so that when I come back from the holidays, I am ready to go. All I'm going to have to do is set up my weekly and I'll already have, you know, my little weekly that's in here to refer to so that I'm not like, I'm not without planning stuff you know I'm, I'm already going to have the week started in here so if for some reason I don't get around to setting it up immediately in here it's no big deal because I'll just do it when I can and I'll transfer stuff over as I need to and it is going to be a little bit awkward because I am planning to transfer certain things over for example if I end up journaling in here um, during these few days I'm not going to transfer that but because I will be back in France from the third to the seventh I will do like a one page weekly and transfer tasks and like that kind of data but I'll probably start dailies from the third or the fourth because that'll be when I like actually move in there but I will at least have a weekly in here once I come back um, yeah. So I, I hope that makes sense. I hope that wasn't too like scattered. I apologize. My brain is like all over the place. Um, I'm going to try really hard, you know, technology permitting, um, to get this up for you guys tomorrow. So knock on wood, keep your fingers crossed for me. Hopefully you guys will be seeing this on Sunday as usual. And yeah, I will eventually get around to doing my 2018 um, planner squad overview. Um, not, I'm not going to do any more plan with me's with that in particular, but I will show you what I've actually set up um, for 2018 in my various notebooks in a different video. Um, you guys have an idea from just seeing the migration video and this video what I am planning to do, um, but I wanted to show you how it actually turned out on paper. So that'll be coming up and hopefully I'll have some awesome new videos for you guys for the new year and possibly even a surprise video if I can get my life together. Um, I'm actually nearing 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is insane. I think I'm somewhere around like 9,300 and 9,400 as of 
this Saturday the 16th um, and I'm also nearing 20,000 on Instagram which I'm actually I'm much closer to 19,000 than I am to 20,000 but it's like getting near another round number so I will actually be doing a giveaway for you guys soon um, there will be a video about it so I'm hoping to get that up before I leave if not it'll be a fun giveaway for the new year but stay tuned for that it will probably not be on a Sunday so it'll be like a random extra video so keep your eyes open for that and if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my videos please think about subscribing to my channel and or giving this video a thumbs up so that other people will see it on their recommended list I hope you guys have a great Saturday actually Sunday I hope you guys have a great Sunday and I will see you guys in my next video bye